Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to come back and talk about these stamps that I use um, as mark making tools for mixed media. So, um, this one, this white swirl, is a piece of kids' foam. This is actually, I'll make one of these with you because I want to make a smaller swirl. And this is actually a peel back, sticky back foam sheet. It's very thin. And I think you may even, even be able to uh, use your, your punches on these. I'm not sure. But I have the thicker stuff too. This is the thicker uh, millimeter that I use to hold on to because this is actually what stamps. Um, I also have, you can make your own this way. So you just cut a shape and cut it out. So I just drew these stars, cut them out, and glued them onto the foam. I think these were just these pieces that I got in a kit. I'll show you. And then I just lined them up and you can use this. I don't use it very often because I think what I've discovered is um, unless you're painting on something large like I did today, this is a, about like 18 maybe 12, no, 16 by 14 size canvas, you need a smaller uh, stamp because generally we stamp on um, smaller projects so I have a lot of big stamps. I use these for my jelly plate. Um, so I just put a bunch of different shapes on here and you can use these on your jelly plate like you would a stencil. So I have hearts, I have flowers, and I got these from, these are foam stickers they're called, Creatology in the kids department where you get the foam and the felt and stuff and I have this hearts one. But I happened to pick this one up the other day, and this is like probably two to three dollars, I want to say, and I already took the staple off of it. But I really liked the size of these flowers because I wanted to make something um, that I could stamp with black. So I'm going to make a couple of these, and I also like the size of these circles because this one, the other one had these big circles. Um, this size, which I which is good. I do like the size, but um, maybe I could do a stamp of just two. I think a one size down would be my perfect size of that. But the, this, and then there's petal shapes. So that's how I made these flowers. Um, I have three different size of flowers. But this is basically the same petals, but I just used a different size middle. And then this is the bigger petals. And I could, you could do that with an even bigger size middle. But again, more for the jelly plate than for projects that are smaller in size. And then that one also came with just already made flowers. But I made this for the jelly plate, but then I ended up cutting it. And, and I have used it on smaller projects, but I think I'm going to make a smaller version of this with just small flowers. So let's get started. I'll show you what I do. I want to make a small swirl first. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this. Actually, let's finish off this piece of black. This is um, sticky back felt or foam. It's not felt. And I'll use my white jelly or jelly roll pen. And I want to try and make a small now the only thing about this is when you cut it out I'm gonna to have to be I can maybe I could use now I'm gonna use scissors I'm gonna use my um, EK success bumblebee whatever scissors I'm gonna cut along the outside line just along the outside first and then I'm going to come back and take a piece out. I'll show you. Just cut this off so you can see maybe a little better. I mean you can draw whatever you want on here 
and I'm much better cutter to the other side <laughs> I mean the other way I don't like how I'm like I think I would have liked to start in the middle so on the next round I'll start in the middle it's like peeling an apple you ever get that little the apple skin all in one I'm just staying right on the line I'm gonna push it up this way but I'm staying right on the line this is not cooperating I'm because I feel like I want to cut the other way we're almost there all right so let's see do I want to make it I'm just gonna make it one more okay. So basically I've got the swirl, but now I need to make a gap. So I'm going to cut it, I'm going to start in the center this time, and I'm going to cut, and I could probably, nah, I'm going to cut it. Um, I'm going to start in the center. It might not turn out. You never know. I think I'm struggling with this one. This is a difficult shape to um, to cut. But I think I'm getting there now. Just once you get out of that middle part, it cooperates a bit better. So basically I'm just cutting it in half. So I, I might turn out and end up with two different ones. Two different swirls that I could use. Does it look much smaller than the original one? It's much thinner and that's kind of what I was going for. Got very um, chopped in here, like it got messed up, sort of. I'm just trying to straighten out the edge of it, and make it like a smooth edge, and then I'm gonna stick it down to a piece of um, the thicker foam. I like the circle in the middle, though. I think I'm gonna leave that circle. I just want to take out a smidgen. Yeah, it's very awkward. Sorry guys. This isn't a good um, way to do a tutorial. Alright, good. I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to peel off the, um, the adhesive backing. And I don't know if it's going to fit on this. It might be, I wanted to put it on white so you could see it. I think it's going to be all right. I have to cut off a little bit of it. So 
so that basically made a stamp and it's hanging over the edge a little bit but I like it so let's see how it stamps I'm gonna get my little um my stamping off book oh it's on my desk Keep track of what I'm doing. Should I just use ink? I'm just going to use ink for now because it's easier. Paint is ideal though. Paint is good. Ta-da! I like it. I wish I could have gotten that center a little better, but I like this. I've also done um, similar stamp like that in the I love the smell of stains on <laughs> uh, this is the regular so let's see the different where did I throw it I already threw it somewhere doggone it um, here yeah, it was easier to get this. Let's show the example of this one. This is what I carved with the Speedball um, carving tools. And the um, this is called Speedy Carve, I think. And it's kind of like a, a eraser um, material. But look, look at the... So that's the swirl of the Speedy Carve. And that's the swirl of the foam pretty good all right so the other one I wanted to make was um, see here's a big piece I should have used this I want to make some just like I'm gonna take this piece of these little pieces of foam and cut them into small thin I should say thin like stripes and then I'm going to lay them on this uh, piece of foam this is the thicker foam and this is a pretty sticky back it has a pretty sticky adhesive on it but it might pull off it's not guaranteed to stay on there forever you know but I'm going to try and arrange these on here uh, kind of like about pretty close together not too far apart and if you have a um, to, uh, tweezers it might help but I'm managing okay I have some fingernails right now and I want to see what this looks like but definitely doing some in a smaller uh, size versus only using the big size is going to be just another variation you can you know use. So I have I made this big one just keeping these pieces solid, but I use this on my jelly plate so. I'm making a bigger piece of work. If I just want to make little accent marks on a piece, on a, um, a journal page, or, you know, I mean, is that enough? I think that's enough. I'm going to cut it, and let's ink it up. So, you know, I'm going to get my um, archival... I don't know which pad is juicier. I think the other, actually, I think the stays on is probably a little juicier. I have room for one more. Uh, and this might be the thinner one. I think. I know it's right. Um, but I just painted that piece of fabric. So you just, and with paint, it's really nice with paint. So I'm going to bring that over here. And maybe be a little gentler. And I won't get, see I'm trying not to ink up this edge. Sometimes you can trim that off a little. 
and it won't catch the ink as much. But I just push so hard. That's good. I like it. I like that one. Try not to push the edges. So, I mean, one way to do that too is to just cut it closer to the And that is just makes it more difficult to hold, but that's just the way foam stamps are. There, nice and clean. Look at that. I like that one. That's going in my keeper section. Uh, <clears throat> the other one I wanted to try, um, I have these little tiny circles, and I don't know if this is going to, if they're going to stick too well to my foam pad. Let's see, maybe I'll do a flower one. Flower. Flower. Maybe I just want to do all small flowers. So it could be anything you want. You don't, you know, whatever you like, you could do with this. So I could do one like that. That's just all flowers. I definitely wanted to do one that was... Let me just pop out some of these and see how complicated it's going to be. I'll go off camera and I'll make a polka dot one and I'll show you that. I'll be right back. All right, so here I did these dots, just small-ish. I like it. I like that. That's going to do the job. Um, then I did this bigger one with more small ones. Let's see what that looks like. That's good too. That's good too. I like it. I want to cut off. Like you got to cut it close to the actual design or it picks up the edge. I like that one a lot because it's smaller scale. Um, and then what else did I do? So I did the dots. I did this one, flowers. This is just smaller scale flowers and a dot, actually. Yeah, but look how it picks up. I'm such a heavy hand, though, you guys. I push so hard. That's why. And this, I'm finding these that I got that are pre-cut already are very thin. So, I don't know. Let's see. Not bad. I'm not a huge fan of those style of flowers. So that's why I grabbed these flowers. I'm going to try a couple of these. This, I'm very, like, see, this is the old one. It has a hole in the middle. Very similar shape, but it's this one. I'll show you. I'm going to put a few on here. And the color doesn't matter, obviously. I like to put offset them. Um, I don't know why. And now this one doesn't seem like it's even going to fit over there. Uh, and I don't have any smaller ones. Once you stick it on, though, they're pretty stuck. Like, I think to pull it back off again, it would probably rip. So, and I don't really want to put a half of one on there. See, I don't even know that I want this many. I might have been better off just putting them, just doing one. I'm going to do one. Over here. I'll cut this out. Uh, 
Did I fit another one over here? It's only going to be part of one. I'm just going to go with this and see what it looks like first. So I'm going to do the individual one. <clears throat> That's cute. Like on a mixed media piece, I like that. Like I could just do three, like get three of them. See, but I'm still get. I have to cut those off, those corners. I like three. Here's the one. And with paint, it'll be even better because paint is wetter. This is awesome though. Just one of those you could add, you know. So I have that. What other shapes? So this one has that shape, then this more, more of like a star shape where it's a more pointier uh, shaped flower. And then it also had these shapes. Maybe it would be cute to do something like that. I kind of like that other one, this one. I got a lot of these. So I'm just going to put like... I think one is even good. Alright, so basically the sky is the limit. You could make, I think I might make, um, because I have other size circles. I want to make a flower with this the smaller size circle, the one that's a little smaller than that. This size. I want to make a flower like this. But yeah, just I mean, you could get the big what I got was this is called Oh, it doesn't have a name. I want to say it's like geometric shapes though. Foam stickers, it doesn't say. But see on the outside it has like all the different shapes. So that's what I picked there. But there's a hearts one. There's all different shapes you can get. Um, I just want to make a quick flower using the little petals and that small center. So let's see. First I'm going to lay it out. One, two. And I first saw this from Patty Tolly Parish had made the really big ones to use for um, jelly printing. And so I made them. I made it. I just took a whole sheet of this and covered it with stickers and all different patterns and stuff. Um, and I used that on my jelly plate. I like it a lot to do that. Uh, I thought I took out enough. Uh, so yeah, so I saw hers first. And then since then, I've seen others that do it. And um, so yeah, I think like two more. I'm going to put two more. So I'm going to do a flower and I'm going to do that. But that's basically it, all right, you guys? I won't keep you any longer. I just wanted to come back and share um, this idea for mark making. So look. I mean, I just cut a circle and put a circle in the middle. Um, you could do anything your heart desires. Don't forget about chevrons and um, a leaf. Like, just cut a leaf. Here, let me just show you that real quick. So, I have, this is the sticky back stuff. Let's do a small leaf. So, you do the leaf shape. But then... You press down and you don't even need to cut in there and it I think it makes the um, the veins will show up in the stamp let's try it so you don't have to get the uh, the ready carve or whatever it's called to have a little leaf shape I just want to make sure I push down nice and hard. 
And let's stick that to this. <clears throat> and I know it's black, but I'll I'll use the stamper and you'll see. Having the sticky back on it, it's just so convenient because you don't need to get the sticky back kind. You can just use glue, but it's so convenient to have that just peel it off and go sticker thing. <clears throat> so let's see what this looks like. A leaf. See, just by making the pen lines in it, it turns out with the... Um, details. They are a little hard to hold, like the smaller ones I'm finding. The big ones are good, like this I, This is fine, this has enough area to hold, but when they're littler, look at that, leaves all day. So that's cute. So yeah, don't think, just you guys have such great imaginations. You can, you can do whatever your little heart desires, alright? Have fun. Thanks for watching.